In this video, we'll show how you can create an Azure Container Registry and push your very first image to it in four minutes. I'm within a new resource group, and I'll start by going to create to create my Azure Container Registry. I'll type Container Registry, I'll select Container Registry, and begin creating. I'll use my subscription and the resource group that I was just using. I'll call my Azure Container Registry ACR, AIS, Demo, ACR. I'll leave the location and we see here domain label scope. This is choosing the type of domain name that your container registry will have. I can see right now it's the name of the container registry dot Azure CR .io. If I use any of these other domain name labels, we'll see that a hash is created for the specific domain name labels. These different types of names exist. For if you want to have the same type of domain name registry across different scopes. This might be helpful if you have a dev, test, and prod container registry that you might want to have the same name for all within the same tenant or all within the same subscription. The more granular you get, the less reusability there is. No reuse and unsecure are basically the same, the difference being that no reuse will get a hash where unsecure will not. I'll choose unsecure, which to be clear, does not mean that my container registry is not secure. It just means that the domain name label is not getting a hash within it. I'm choosing this because it's easier to view and understand. Coming down to availability zones, we can only select these if we choose the premium plan. I'll be choosing the basic plan. And you can learn more about the specific pricing tiers for Azure Container Registries on this page, which I'll link in the description. We have the option to choose how our role assignments are made, where we could use RBAC or we could use RBAC with ABAC. ABAC is attribute based access control, where certain attributes of a user may or may not give them access to certain resources. This is an advanced form of permissions. We'll just use basic RBAC and continue. Going to networking, we have the option to have private access with a private endpoint to access our Azure Container Registry, but this is only available in premium tier plans. We can also choose to have customer managed keys to manage the encryption of our images in our Azure Container Registry, but also only available in the premium SKU. You can add tags if you'd like, and we'll review and create. Everything looks good, let's create our Azure Container Registry. Now that our Container Registry is created, let's push an image to it. I'll go to push an image to see the different ways I can log into my container registry. Using the Azure CLI, I can copy this command and also copy over our resource group to log in to our Azure Container Registry. I can see login is successful, and now when I use Docker Push, it will push images to our container registry. Optionally, I could use the Docker Login command, but in this case, I would need to create an admin user with a username and password to then log into my Azure Container Registry. Right now I see I have no repositories in my Azure Container Registry, and when we push our first image, it'll create our first repository. Back in our terminal, we need to use the specific naming conventions for our Container Registry to push an image to it. So I'll re-tag an image so I can do this. I'll use Docker tag, and I'll use a random image that I have locally, and I'll tag it, and I'll use our Azure Container Registry name and this new image will be image 01. I should now be able to see this image in my list of images, which I do, and now I'll push this to our Azure Container Registry. I can now go to repositories and see our image 01 repository that we just created. This has been a video on how to create an Azure Container Registry and push your first image to it. If this video was helpful for you, I'd appreciate it if you liked the video and subscribe to this channel if you want to see more content like this. Thank you so much and I'll see you in the next one.